Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me in my little video to and about Steve McRae. So Steve keeps telling people on Hangouts and on chat that I'm a liar, which I, I'm kind of used to people telling me that, but when it goes on for several days and is repeated, I really kind of feel I need to clear the air, not for anybody else, but just for myself. And just so Steve knows. Uh, first of all, Steve, there's a difference between misunderstanding somebody or misreading somebody or not understanding what they're saying or just being wrong about somebody and or their position and lying. So just because I may get something wrong about what you believe, or maybe I misstate or have misread you, that doesn't mean I'm lying. And let's face it, you went friggin' berserk, both in chat and on Hangouts. Absolutely berserk. And so, okay, so let me just recap the situation here. So it was about Lamarckism, which if anybody's followed me, I basically shoved Lamarck down the throats of the uh, Darwinists to the point where they're crying for mercy because they are forced to accept it, which they've always, well, they've been lied to by their own people for decades, that the, in, the inheritance of acquired characteristics, they say, doesn't happen. Well, now here in the last decade or so, and especially in the last five years, I mean, there's just, the floodgates have opened and the lies have given way to the truth and the fact that individuals are, in fact, created in a way that they are self-adaptive, self-adjusting to the environment, and that some of these can be passed on to the next generation. And so, and of course, the Darwinists can't really make this fit into the theory that says only populations evolve. So anyway, that's the backdrop, and it puts the evolutionists in a bad mood when they're embarrassed, let's be honest. Anyway, Steve and I were talking in chat with a guy named Jim Barak, or or Barrick. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Sorry, Jim. And uh, so here's how the conversation went down. And notice the irony here in just a moment. So Steve st says to uh, Jim, he says, basically Tommy believes that inheritance includes phenotype changes, such as that if a person develops an antibiotic resistance, that it can be transmitted via the germline to offspring. Ir ironic, Steve, because that is a lie. I've never said nor implied that. Ever. Never have I said that antibiotics resistance can go from mother to child. Okay, so carrying on the same paragraph, he says, Tommy accepts the concept of Lamarckism where an organism's phenotypical changes are passed on, which literally would mean if you got a tan, that tan would be inher inherited by your offspring. That, Steve, is another lie. Your lie. I've never said that. What I've said that, what, I've, what I have said is that the offspring inherits the capacity because of the parent's exposure. The, the offspring may inherit the capacity to generate darker, darker colors, darker shades in their skin. I have never once made the claim that a suntan can be had by the father or the mother and then passed on to the next generation. That's ludicrous and a lie. So you've misrepresented me there too. But did I go freak out? calling you an F face, F you, going on hangouts, cursing you out, trying to humiliate you. No, I didn't do that. I have too much class for that. Okay, so anyway, carrying on. Okay, so in response to that, I said, funny, Steve, in past hangout, hangouts, you've admitted on air that Lamarckism, a.k.a. the inheritance of acquired characteristics, is true.
And sure enough, it's undeniable and demonstrable. Nothing you can do but accept it. Heck, this paper is just one example. So Steve replies, BS, the real way. This is why, we, why, this is why we say you lie, Tommy, in all caps. I have said that there are aspects of Lamarckism which are correct, but that is neo-Lamarckism. I've never once said Lamarckism is true. <sighs> okay. So then he says, Tommy has decided not to take my advice and now blatantly became like the rest of the clown car posse and just uh, will freaking lie at will. And he says, Lamarckism is a long since disproven theory. How dare you blatantly lie and claim I said it was true in any of my hangouts? Seriously, why the F would you make up such BS? Now remember, this, this outburst was right on the heels of me saying, let me repeat what I said. Funny, Steve, in past hangouts, you've admitted on air that Lamarckism, a.k.a. the inheritance of acquired characteristics, is true. And so I qualified my statement of Lamarckism, meaning the inheritance of acquired characteristics. But yet, just to read his statement again, he says, Lamarckism is a long since disproved theory. How dare you blatantly lie and claim I said it was true in any of my hangouts. Seriously, why the F would you make up such BS? So do you see what's happening, Steve, here? Is you've, con you've mistaken what I said. You didn't, or you weren't paying attention to what I said. I qualified Lamarckism as meaning the inheritance of acquired characteristics, and you ran with Lamarckism as whatever it is you envision it to be over and above that. Anyway, maybe this is convoluted, but in another, in another place, Steve very emphatically says, I have never once said that Lamarckism is true, but then at a different time, different, uh, a different thread, he says in another breath, in all caps, nowhere have I ever said that acquired traits cannot be passed on. So you get that? So in one breath, he says, I have never once said Lamarckism is true. Then in the next breath, he says, nowhere have I ever said that acquired traits cannot be passed on. So in the midst of all this confusion, see, my, 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 my claim is that the inheritance of acquired characteristics is equated to Lamarckism. So sure enough, you go to Wiki, they say, the inheritance of acquired characteristics is a hypothesis that physiological changes acquired over the life of an organism. It is also commonly referred to as the theory of adaptation equated with the theory of French naturalist John, Jean Baptiste Lamarck, known as Lamarckism. So basically they're saying the inheritance of acquired characteristics is equated to Lamarckism, which is exactly what I said. So basically to sum up this convoluted mess, Stephen Winbreath says he believes in the inheritance of acquired characteristics, then in another breath he denies Lamarckism. Yet by definition, Lamarckism is the inheritance of acquired characteristics according to Wiki. Anyway, so just to sum up again, just to put this in a nice little package so Steve and whoever cares <laughs> will understand maybe. The exchange that we had, Steve, went like this. I said, funny Steve, in past hangouts you've admitted on air that Lamarckism, aka the inheritance of acquired characteristics, is true. You replied by saying, BS, this is why, this is why we say you lie, Tommy. So it's this exchange from which that I made my other thread that stated that you don't believe in the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Do you see why I could possibly infer that to be the case? Can you see how that might mean that I'm not necessarily lying? Maybe I just misunderstood you. And quite honestly, I don't care if you believe it or not. <laughs> it's, it doesn't even matter. I mean... Uh, if I was going to lie about something, I would probably pick something better than that. I mean, I would like to get more bang for my buck for sinning. Anyway, for you it, to go on air and to claim that you and Fiona proved that I lied, blah, blah, you know what? I mean, you, you're welcome to say that, but we both know the truth now, don't we? Anyway, I had blocked Steve um, basically for freaking out, blowing up, yelling, cursing, screaming, overreacting. Well, just basically acting like a complete ass unnecessarily. Steve, you just need to control your anger a little bit better. You know, when I see you and engage with you, you seem to have a very short fuse and you get frustrated very easily. So just try to chill out, man. I mean, I know a lot of the atheists out there have extreme anger problems and I just block them right off the bat. But I like you, Steve, and I like to engage in debate. You're a smart guy. But I don't like wading through all your sea of insults constantly. 
Have you ever noticed that the really smart people, like I'm talking to the super smart, they don't really need to engage in that sort of dialogue or cut people down or call them names. I mean, look at Fiona, look at her exemplary behavior. Well, maybe not. That's maybe a bad, bad example. Look at Sam. He's working on his PhD. Look how he, well, oh, never mind. Anyway, you know what I mean. Don't act like them. Act like somebody better. Someone with more class. Someone with more dignity. And I'm sure we can get along just fine.